Hey, right, what's up guys? It's your boy Jack back at it again. We're gonna be uh, watching the top 10 best games of the year in uh, 2017 since the year is ending and I do like games so I want to see what they have. Um, I have pretty much have like all the games of 2017 that were good. I think anyway, you know, Destiny 2, um, uh, Call of Duty World War II, um, you know, like, just the newer games I think I do have. I don't really know every game, but um, I'm excited to see what they have. I'm sure I will know what the game is either way, what they uh, put on the list, even if I haven't played it, because uh, I play games, like, more than the usual. Nah, I don't play them, like, crazy enough, but, like, for some reason, I will have the game. You know what I mean? Like, I spent money on games for no reason sometimes, and I'm like, why do I do that? I don't know. I've always liked games, so anyway, let's get into it. This video is brought to you by PayPal. This is Watch Mojo. Season when uh, go subscribe. Strikes. Shop the globe today. I mean, they got millions of subscribers, great so subscribe to me. Welcome to WatchMojo.com. Let's see what they have. Change the oh heck yes, South Park game. So, Y'all know I got my uh, uh, Tom Brady jersey. New videos every day. So All right. Sure for more what y'all get for Christmas? Tell me what y'all got. All right. My mom hooked me up. She knows I like Tom Brady. The best quarterback of all time. Um, I mean, there's a lot. There's a lot of good quarterbacks, but Tom Brady. Come on. We will not be including any remasters or expansions of any kind. He, he's obviously one or two. He's one or two, depending on what you guys think. Number ten, Resident Evil Seven. Bio yes, yes. I, at least top ten, for sure, for sure. It's so it's so different than all the other Resident Evil. It's actually it's actually like like a scary game. You know, Resident Evil you usually have a gun already. You know, you're like you know you're getting chased by zombies, whatever. First person perspective. A crazy um, and this one zombies. did not do that. It was like to way different. For one of the most frightening experiences of the year. So and I would Resident for sure say that. I think I actually probably top two words, Resident Evils play, probably. Environments and a dinner scene that will basically never. Forget. It's way different. No that fans are I, I love it. Who are all you people? Where's Mia? I watched a walkthrough. I think I watched. Uh, I don't know who I watched. Was it PewDiePie? I don't know. Cuphead I've heard a lot from, uh, especially with the people from my like, uh, my work and, and stuff like that. Well, why are you work? But, um, the love that went into every frame here. It's a really cool art style and animation. To the catchy beats that light up the rip But I haven't played it, so I can't really say it's good or not. But a lot of people have said it's good. punishing games, there's a real sense of triumph when you finally win the day. And you'll find yourself enjoying the misadventures of a cup and a mug. Give or take a few retries. <laughs> Number eight, Wolfenstein 2, The New Colossus. Your execution I haven't even played a Wolfenstein yet, actually. Think you're dead, baby. Looks really Let's cool, but... Timing. Wolfenstein 2 picks up where the last game left off and continues I haven't the played it. story where the Nazis won World War II. William B.J. Blazkowicz returns and has admittedly seen better days, but that doesn't stop him from getting some pretty sweet guns and doing what the Wolfenstein series does best, gunning down everyone. I don't know, I'm pretty. just... It's an almost cathartic entry into the FPS genre, with crazy story moments and plenty of fast paced I don't know how I feel about it. Keep you on your toes. Tell me what y'all exactly think. Do, what should I play Wolfenstein 2? Should I get it's it? Better, but it's downright fun. If it's on sale or what, should I get it? I don't know. Is that what you wanted? Number seven, Horizon Zero Dawn. Oh, uh, this is only for PlayStation, huh? Yeah, I haven't, I haven't got this because I, I didn't have a PlayStation until well, we recently. We got our first glimpse of this hodgepodge of nature and technology. We knew that it was gonna be something great. Is it even that? Thirty-first century. Our world has been taken over by machines. But instead of looking like a I nightmare no idea. where killer robots have decimated the land, the world is now a beautiful landscape of plants and wildlife. I haven't seen anything about this game. Has returned to its more primitive But I, I but I know about it. But I haven't seen story, if it's out or not. Characters. I haven't seen a walkthrough or anything like that. This is a definite must-have. Beautiful PS4 graphics though. It looks I'm real. Here. And wherever you go. I will follow. 
Number six, Near Automata. Perhaps we're not so different. Avatar. I've never heard of this. I'm to not me. a fan already. You better finish this quick. <laughs> <laughs> to find some deeper meaning to life within your hack and slash games, and I mean, what no, chat, no, this no, is definitely no. a game for you. Um, I like Final Fantasy and stuff like this. That like anime, like I'm cool with it. Plans, I'm, I'm chill with it. I do like it. I watch a lot of anime and whatnot. But uh, uh, I haven't even heard of this. I can't. Memorable characters. As soon as I seen it, that you'll be trying to decipher well after the credits roll. I don't know. I might like it. Like if I did play it. Um, seems like a designed to protect their human master. Cool role playing game. I don't know if it's a role playing. Number five, Divinity: Original Sin Two. I haven't played this either. It's probably on the computer. I'm guessing. Games and then there's yeah. Original Sin Two because. Whew, I wish I had like a desktop um, I could actually try playing these games. I've always been bad at PC games. I just you create your character, you set off on just not me. But um, I would like to. It would be fun. Battles and uh, enough branching pathways to keep you busy until they announce the third game. Nah, I wouldn't spend my life doing it, but like some people, some people are just are on World of Warcraft all day, every day, but. To play it once in a while. Mario Odyssey. I've heard a lot about this game. A lot. And it looks cool. It looks really cool. Mario games tend to be the only reason why I would want a Nintendo Switch. Basic, but the gameplay is pretty much guaranteed to put a smile on your face. This game takes all of that precedent and ups it tenfold. It introduces a new gameplay mechanic that'll make you think outside the box, or in this case, the cap. It also brings us new worlds that are full of collectibles to keep you exploring mm. the beautifully crafted world. It's basically everything you'd want from a Mario game for a new Nintendo console. That's cool. Seems really cool. Like, I want it, but that's the only reason I don't want the Switch. Persona 5. Mankind is said to hold the I've never played a Persona game, but I, I would probably game. love it. When you're wrong but I've never prison, played it. to live out your days in a new town, the best course of action is to head into weird palaces. I love the subway, art style, the way the game looks. The so every time I see it, it looks really cool, like Persona, Persona 4 and stuff. Again and has taken the hearts of JRPG fans the world. But I haven't played this it. This particular entry really stands out with its art style, music, and sheer amount of things you can do with the game. It looks your really cat cool. Doesn't force you to go to bed. Damn I'm guessing the art styles from um. No, I've had if y'all ever seen Catherine, no the game Catherine, um, PewDiePie played it one time, and. I think that's probably the people who make that game because it looks exactly the same. This game basically has no right to be as addictive as it is. In fact, its flaws should probably keep it off the list. The bugs, the loot crates, the fact that it's still uh, okay. it only has one Yeah, everyone knows this so game. Long, I haven't played it. It manages to do the one thing that video games um, are supposed to do. Be a hell I wish, of a good time. I wish the I had. Players fight in a battle royale as they parachute down but the so map, much causing a mad dash play this game. So much people play this game. Their this it's and amazing. like Fortnite the most and uh, to date. Yeah. Anything that's kind of like winner, this battle royale thing is is really in right now. So Before we get to our number one pick. Here are a few honorable mentions. We are at war with these animals. I do not like Welcome in Atlantis. Where's like Call of Duty or... Did Destiny come out in 2016? No, Destiny 2? Where are they at? Where are those at? Our numbers will continue to dwindle. <laughs> there you go. We can no longer protect ourselves. Much less yeah. the survivors. I love that game. It was good. Number one, The Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild. Bro, they just do not put Call of Duty on these two. Open 
the world. I don't know. If y'all yeah. played Call of Duty World War II, the like story mode was oh, right, right. amazing. You know the Zelda franchise. And it's I know a lot of people don't play that story games, mode and no, whatnot, they, they but this huge and go this check it out. It's really at. good. The gameplay is um, out of this world, and you have to think about every move you make. I'm not really a fan of like the Wii and stuff like that. And Nintendo, I'm not really. But I'm sure to all the people who love Zelda, this was probably a really good game. It's definitely our pick for the best so, game. So, but to me. To me, it's not the best game. Which one's just, like you said, it's not. It's not my daughter. No. But I'm sure it was good. But I'll never play it. But anyway, let me know uh, what's your favorite game of 2017. All right. Uh, make sure to like this video and comment and you know subscribe to your boy. All right. I'll see y'all next time.